Article 6 of Arizona's Constitution establishes the judicial branch of government. The judicial branch is made up of all the state courts. It is responsible for interpreting state law, mediating any disputes between the other branches of government, and holding lawbreakers accountable for their actions. Arizona's judicial system has four main levels, justice courts, superior courts, the Court of Appeals, and the Supreme Court. Each of these courts has different responsibilities, but they all fit together to make up the overall system. The justice courts handle many cases, including most of the less serious criminal cases and conflicts in which a relatively small amount of money is at stake. Justices of the peace are elected positions, and there are many justices of the peace throughout the state that are responsible for a small geographic area. Arizona's Superior Court is mostly a trial court. The court hears cases that involve felonies and significant civil cases. Judges join the Superior Court in two different ways. In Maricopa County and Pima County, the two largest counties, judges are appointed through a process called merit selection. In this process, a commission made up of judges, lawyers, and other citizens develops a list of potential candidates and screens them. The commission makes a list of recommendations and that list is sent to the governor who appoints one of the recommended people to the position. In all of Arizona's other counties, Superior Court judges are elected by the citizens of that county. There are 174 Superior Court judges in Arizona and they serve four-year terms Arizona's Court of Appeals is the appellate court in the state. That means that if one of the people involved in a criminal or civil case at the Superior Court level wanted to appeal the decision, the Court of Appeals could look at the case to decide if the case was tried in the right way. The Court of Appeals doesn't redo the case. It just looks to see if there is any reason why the case might not have been fair to one of the parties. Judges are appointed to the Court of Appeals through the merit selection process, just like the Superior Court judges from Maricopa and Pima counties. There are 22 Court of Appeals judges. These judges are appointed to six-year terms. The Supreme Court has a different role in Arizona. It is the highest state court, so it holds the ultimate appellate power, meaning that a case can be appealed to the Supreme Court but in the vast majority of cases, a decision from the Supreme Court can't be appealed further. There are some specific cases that go directly to the Supreme Court, including cases about state officers and between counties. The Supreme Court is also responsible for mediating between the other two branches of the state government, determining whether a law is constitutional and overseeing the other courts in the state. There are five justices sitting on the Supreme Court, and they are appointed through the merit selection process as well, and have six-year terms of office. All judges, regardless of how they join the court, have to go in front of the voters on a regular basis. For the judges, like justices of the peace and superior court judges outside Maricopa and Pima counties who are elected, they have to run re-election campaigns every four years to stay on the court. Judges and justices who are appointed through merit selection have retention votes. When their term is up, their name is placed on the ballot in what is called a retention vote. Voters have to mark yes or no next to these judges or justices' name. If the majority of voters say yes, the judge or justice retains his or her place on the court. If not, he or she is removed and the appointment process begins again. If the people believe a judge or justice is not following the law or is not behaving appropriately, they can be removed in three ways. Voters can hold a recall election, the legislature can impeach, or the Supreme Court can remove them. In order for the Supreme Court to remove a judge, Arizona established a Commission on Judicial Conduct which recommends the removal. Just like the other three branches of government, the judicial branch plays an important role 
in the checks and balances of our state's government. 